This nativity scene is representative of the baby Jesus and how he needed a place to be born and a place to be housed when, when he was born at Christmas time. So it's very significant to Pueblo people. A, a lot of Pueblos make the nativity scene. It's, it's just part of what we've grown up with, you know, with this collaboration between Pueblo religion and Catholicism. I think we've really resonated with this event. What we do in the Pueblo in Jemez Pueblo is we have the Santo of the baby Jesus on Christmas Eve is taken to a house. And so this host house is going to have the baby Jesus for the entire Christmas time from Christmas until January 6th. And that's the Three Kings Day. These are the Three Kings. So that represents the whole time that um, baby Jesus was at the manger. The baby Jesus is in this beautiful shrine and um, we have a married couple that kind of represent the the joseph and mary and then the whole family just gets together and has the house opened so anybody and everybody comes to the house the whole family starts getting together and we start donating you know just all the things we're going to need for the two weeks and then the decoration of the house starts and the main families are going to be the the mary and joseph representations and their families are the main ones that are really um, working hard and decorating the house and the decorations are just over the top beautiful so many pueblo shawls and jewelry and it's overwhelming it really is it's so beautiful this is just a tiny little piece on the shelf until it's here. And then we're talking about it and it has children, it has fathers, it has extended family, it has you know, people that were taught by this person. She met Nixon, she went to the White House. She uh, took her wedding vases and so I've got pictures of her with Nixon in her wedding vase. <laughs> When you ask what I feel, spending time with this piece, I feel my history as a Pueblo potter. It's a very close history too, so knowing my aunt and, and seeing her work as a young person, I think it makes my history so tangible. It's amazing being with pottery that somebody has made somebody that you know and love, you, you know how they made it. You know, sitting down at their kitchen table with all their kids running around. And you can imagine her making this pottery. Every once in a while, one of her children lending a hand with painting or scraping or smoothing out the clay. Some of her children, of course, lending a hand digging clay and cleaning clay. And that's how she taught all of her children.